Hello, today we are going to talk about tangents. We are going to try to connect several fundamental concepts of tangents and use them to solve exercises on tangent lines to a circle from a point. And following on from this, we are going to learn how to draw the external and internal tangent lines to two given circles. You can find links to any of these exercises in the video and in the description also. So we'll begin with one of the two fundamental properties of tangents. That says that for a line and a circle to be tangent to each other, the radius of the circle that passes through the point of tangency has to be perpendicular to the line. That is, it has to form a right angle, as you can see in the example on the screen. We will continue with Thales' theorem which states that if you pick any random point on the circumference of a circle and join it with the ends of a diameter, you will al always form a right angle at this point, as you can see here from the example on the screen. If we unite these two concepts, we can easily find the tangent lines to any circle from a point. Outside it, by matching the ends of the diameter of Thales' theorem's arc, with the center of the circle and with the given point, as you can see here in the animation. So we will use Thales' theorem to generate the right angle we need between the radius and the tangent line. So once we understand this simple exercise, we can understand the resolution of two somewhat more complex exercises, those of the exterior and interior tangent lines to two given circles. We are going to solve these two exercises by dilation, starting with the example of the tangent lines to a circle from a given point that we just learned. Dilation in geometry is a process of changing the size of objects by the same magnitude, preserving some of the properties of the original objects, such as parallelism and the position of their points of tangency. In the case of the external tangent lines to two given circles, starting in the exercise of the tangent line to a circle from a point. What we are going to do is dilate the circle and the point. This point is going to become a circle. Both are going to grow the same amount of radius as can be seen here in the animation on the screen. We can also see that the parallelism of the exercise is also preserved. The radius of the circle in the example of the tangents from a point is going to be the subtraction of the other two radii of the given circles. So R1 minus R2 as shown here on the screen. In the case of interior tangents, we are also going to start from the exercise of tangents from a point. In this case, we are going to expand the radius to generate a larger angle. This time, the dilation occurs in the opposite way to that that is to say, while the circle's radius gets smaller, the point expands with the same magnitude of radius. As you can see, in both exercises, the tangent lines also maintain parallelism. It is easy to see that in this case, the radius of the circle in the first exercise, that of the circle from a point, is the sum of the other two radii of the given circles, so R1 plus R2, as shown here on the screen. Okay, I hope this video has been useful for you to learn more about the fundamental rules of tangency. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by pressing the super thanks button. Until the next video, thank you very much.